eformat at amazon.com. Now, Howard, before we go, first of all, thanks very much for joining us. Always a great pleasure talking to you, my friend. And and as you and I were discussing during the commercial break, my next-door neighbor at home, they are a lovely family. I've learned so much from them over the seven years in our new home. Uh, they are practicing Muslims, and they are super people. And I think that I, I think that a lot of people get the wrong idea that that you know this is you know it's a negative connotation on an entire people. Well, it's it is, but it shouldn't be, Howard. How can we change this so well, that you know? You know the, I have a. I, I have a lot of friends who are Muslim, mm-hmm. too, and they are extremely dear to me. And not a single one of them believes in the interpretation of Islam that the jihadists believe in. Not a single one of them believes in the interpretation of, uh, of Islam that Hamas believes in. Not a single one of them believes in the interpretation of Islam that Hezbollah believes in. And not a single one of them believes in the interpretation of Islam that the Islamic State, formerly known as the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, believes in. And they, um, they, cite, they all cite the same verse. A verse that says to kill one innocent is the equivalent of killing a thousand, wow. um, and and that's that's what they believe. Yeah. Now, there are also many many things in the Quran and the Hadith that tell you just the opposite, and those are the things that the jihadists have seized on. But the form of Islam that has been created um, by those people, like the people next door to you and my friends. Let us hope that it triumphs. Yes, Let definitely. us hope that it takes over. And when I sit down with my friend Ghanem Nusebe, Ghanem Nusebe is from one of the most, one of the three most important families in the Muslim world. When the Muslims invaded Jerusalem in um, 638 A.D., his family was given the responsibility of taking care of the Holy Sepulchre. And when Ghanem uh-huh. and I sit down, we sit down trying to figure out how to make the people of Gaza and the people of um, all of the Palestinian camps, how to turn them into entrepreneurs, how to show them how to get wealthy by adding new imaginative things to the world, by using their imagination to benefit their form of their fellow humans, not to figure out new ways to kill and die. Wow. You know, it seems that we, we put up the same labels on, on, on members of the Islamic philosophy, that we did on the Germans and the Japanese and all the enemies that we've fought. You know, look what we did to the Japanese in World War II, for goodness sake, who were living in America. They were guilty right. by well, association. We, yeah, and, and so it's not fair yeah, to, it's to, not. to pin all Muslims to this rap. Right. But it is necessary to notice that this is happening and mm-hmm. that it's a significant factor in the world and that it has gone from insignificance to massive significance overnight in the past, and it could do that conceivably again. However, I believe that it's through the efforts of people like you, Howard Bloom, and the other people who try on a constant basis to make this planet a better place to live, that one day there will be global peace. Let us all pull together, and hopefully that's the goal we will achieve. Howard, as always, great talking to you, my good friend. Um, we we didn't get to talk about SpaceX. They had a great they had a great uh, achievement, and we didn't get to talk about the congressional treachery. So, if it's okay with you, maybe we can get you back on next week so we can um, talk some more we'll and share it. some some we news with the world. It. Howard, take care of yourself, my friend, and please give your night, your staff my thanks for their kind help in helping to make this interview possible. Thanks, Rob. Take care, buddy. Explanation, Howard Bloom, www.howardbloom.net. That's www.howardbloom.net. And if you'd like to uh, read Howard's latest e-book, it's entitled The Muhammad Code. It's available on Amazon.com. I'll be back on the other side of this news break at six and a half minutes past the top of the hour as the Exome continues with yours truly, Rob McConnell, from our broadcast center in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. I'll be back after the news. Don't go away.